play Protesters Light Pink. Um, I play Warcraft Night Elves as Silver or Grey. Um, like, I have, like, a specific colour for different games and stuff like that uh, that I like to, like, you know, mess with. So what I want is I want these guys to be really hard. I want them to have a fair fucking fighting chance all on their own. You two, my allies being harder might be just fine. If I made you two just hard together, I think maybe that would hold out. I could try making one really easy and one really crazy, but there's a fair chance that would work out how to use that. I might leave that as harder. This is going to be difficult. So, yeah, what I'm talking about with, like, Cheetah 3, and the funny thing is, when I first played this, when I came back to this after four years, I forgot that you could scroll. <laughs> I'm so good at this shit. So, anyway, I forgot that there's a scroll bar right here. So, I'm like, oh, I thought they used to have, like, Cheetah and stuff. I'm like, well, I guess Elite's the hardest you can play. And I'm like, oh, it was a sad moment. <laughs> anyway, let's just scroll down a teeny bit. Yeah, I used to play with and against Cheetah 3. Um, so that's what I used to work up to. I played that all the time. Same with um, with uh, Warcraft 3. I used to play with Insane. Every I was always up against everybody was insane. And I was always by myself in Warcraft 3. I can't play like that anymore because it's been so long since I actually like jumped in. And I did used to play it like consistently every year. Um, like a few times a year and I was pretty alright at it but this should actually be really fucking hard for me to keep up with so I'll see how this goes this could actually this is either going to be really long or really really short and it just takes one of these elites to walk into my little base and go no fuck you <laughs> and then I am gone alright this is when I kind of wish I knew, like, quick keys and shit. I want to get a pylon going. I know that they do people, people, and then building. Back on that. I need two people to actually, like, maybe try to play, like, a little bit more. Hydrate. I will. Thank you, Bubba. How's your day been? Or how's it starting, anyway? I have not remembered to have much of this drink. Hold up. That's a Protoss building. I forgot that that existed beside me. That happens. Yeah, how's it going, Bubba? I'll be playing the um. I'll be playing the new game tomorrow. So well, <laughs> I was saying this before. It depends if it goes into update. When I go to play it, it'll be Friday. <laughs> I've just realized that there's a chance that it can just fucking be updating and I won't be able to play it. That's no good. Just got up. How are you? I'm okay. I was not feeling well when I started tonight. I, um, I didn't get to sleep until like super, super late in the afternoon, which is bad because I'm supposed to wake up early afternoon. And, um, then when I did get up tonight, I felt really unwell. Uh, my stomach just really hated me, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be good or not. Um, but that seems to have calmed down a bit. It's been two hours, so I'm glad it's calmed down, but it did take a while, because usually with StarCraft, I'm a lot more ragey. I, like, am hostile towards my allies and um, the AI screaming out that I don't have enough minerals and shit like that. I'm a little bit more um, in the game's face kind of thing about itself. So, yeah, the um, fact that I wasn't feeling well has, like, calmed me down a fair bit, which has been hilarious. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm otherwise okay. I think I'm still, like, a little bit tired, maybe. Not tired, but just kind of, like, you know. I, I just feel a little blah. So tonight, after I stream, I won't sit here and do my editing. I won't be in Discord. I'll be just going straight to bed. Um, and try to get some rest because like I can leave it a day I can do all that stuff like tomorrow I just generally choose not to so I don't have like work left over to do stuff plus the way while well, everything's still fresh and stuff it's all done you know but um, yeah so that's kind of like the plan for tonight 
Um, what do you got on your? What you got on your cards for the day? Can I get? Who are you in battle with? Oh, of course, one of these guys are our enemies. Which one? This guy. All right. I didn't realize that we were next to one of them. I like the orange. Orange looks all right. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Get some people. Get that boosted. So yeah. Um. I guess like I'm also like a little bit excited and I guess like a little bit, I don't know, worried about the the new game that I'm playing tomorrow night. Like I haven't even expressed it. Like I have like a little bit of concern playing it because it's not something that like I don't know if anybody that like regularly watches me is interested in it. Um, because it's not the same kind of genre as anything I normally play. So, yeah, be interesting. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys don't mind still coming and hanging out and just saying hello and stuff when I'm, like, playing it, even if it's not your cup of tea. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. Basic concerns, you know. I'd be concerned. I'm pretty sure I'd be concerned no matter what I'm playing. I like the music. This is actually really close to the track that plays with the Calm Me Down. Because... You guys, if you don't know already, the um, Bit Redeem Calm Me Down is a StarCraft music very similar to this tune. Not that you can really hear it very well, because um, our allies are in battle if you didn't know. I'm back here. Alright, look, I'm going to go fuck them up in a hot minute. If you guys just want to wait, that'd be so great. Let's get you chrono boosted. Get some of these. How are they going? I think this is the one that's solo. It's an elite, so it's solo. I should be able to come in and get rid of these soon. Sa soundtrack is well scored. Oh, it so is. Um, so when I started tonight, um, I actually, there was a really great song and I was off patting Azula. I'm like, man, I need to remember what this is. I need to add this to my playlist. <laughs> Uh, what's that voice acting as great as well? Oh my god. I, I'm just gonna... Uh, uh, hold on. Where's my thing? I know that I know it caps the game for a minute. There. I'll, I'll just be like that for a few minutes, thanks. My voice is actually doing really well tonight. It's, um... It's not sore. Like, my... The muscles in my throat for the voice boxing, you know, is not sore. So that's really good. Um, right. my mouth is a little Taking bit sore and I think, I don't know. I remember when I was younger, when I used to get like strep throat occasionally and stuff, I, um, you know how you can get like little, like spotted bruising and stuff like that in your mouth? Like, I don't know if anybody else has ever had that, but I used to get that with like, um, what did I say it was with strep throat, strep throat and sometimes with laryngitis it's like the vessels or something in your uh like blood vessels in your mouth or something like that like i like too pressured or something like that i feel like they're sore they're sore but like my voice isn't plus i also know that because i'm like a little bit tired i'm well a little bit unwell um i'm not uh kind of like cast like protecting my voice as far which is good I need to stop doing that because my microphone's strong enough to pick me up now. Um, I know if you guys ever watch back like any of my like really, really early videos, I really could barely be heard. They are basically almost all gone. I'm still going to go help a little bit. My allies are taking these. I don't even need to walk over there. It's great. So this, them taking that isn't great, but if we're going down there... I mean, my only problem with my allies being actually good is that they will um, go and attack really early. I want this place. I'm gonna take this. Let's ruffle their feathers a bit. Actually, that was the thing. When you say voice acting, um, when I was saying that I had to learn something with like voice or whatever, so what I had to learn, what I have to learn, is um, how to warm up. I have to find like a fucking voice actors course or something like that of how to like warm up your vocal ranges 
Yeah. That's what I was on about last night. I could not for the life of me think of what the thing was because I was thinking like uh, vocal lessons, but vocal lessons are different to um, voice training. Yeah. So I have to I have to find something good in that category to like help me um, warm up like my voice so it doesn't get so like ripped through. I did think initially that with enough rest and you know enough like regular use that my vocal cords would get stronger because like as far as I was explained, uh, your vocal cords, vocal cords are muscles so it's like using a muscle you can overuse it and strain it um but you can also kind of like build up a little bit of like strength and stuff to it not like it's not like i'm gonna have like a absolutely ripped fucking vocal cord <laughs> no um what i'm trying to do is like at least like get it to a point where i can like talk without ending up like croaky or coughing or Whatever, you know. That's all I want. Be really nice. Let's go and sit you guys down in this mess. There is so much like fog and shit. I think it's supposed to be snow. A snow mist type thing. Your allies are in battle. I don't see any particular smoke. Um that's a smog. I'm like, yeah, it looks like smog, but it's not like, it doesn't quite look like snow. Anyway, so what I'm trying to do is I made, there's a few elites and my group are, one of these two is hard and harder and I'm up against elite. So we got rid of one, there's three others and I reckon I just go and just do a initial have a little looky. These guys should either be alive or not. What have I guys? Yes. Yeah, no, as far as I'm concerned, they will either be flourishing Order or killing here. each other because one of these should have been a pair. And I think it's purple and enemy for weakness. Uh dark grey. Okay. So yeah, they're definitely there. Hey Shadow. Um, a waiver was uh, wishing that you were here earlier because um, she needs uh, help and advice with cooking an omelette recipe. The fact that your throat muscles are absolutely bulging kind of can make sense. It's not the timeline I'm comfortable to live in. <laughs> Look, that's that's what I meant. Is I'm like when it was explained to me that like vocal cords are muscles. Like, I had the same kind of thought because, like, I've seen, like, you know, competitive eaters, the ones that, like, really get in and do a lot of, like, the heavy chewing, they end up with, like, really big, like, cheek mouth muscles, like, um, you call them the, um, I don't know what they're called. Um, but either way, they end up with, like, these really big, like, bulging muscles on the side of, like, their jawline, jaw muscles. That's what I'm up about. So when somebody said that, like, you can train your um or overwork and like build up your vocal cord muscles the first thoughts that came to my mind was i've never seen somebody with like a really like ripped vocal cord <laughs> like <laughs> I, I hope to hell i never do <coughs> but yeah that was pretty funny yeah a waiver was um she's got a right, omelette that's got like here. meat onions tomatoes um some paprika salt um but the problem is that she doesn't have onions she thought she had them at home doesn't have them um and i don't know what to recommend because i don't i can eat onion but i don't really eat it um yeah it sounds like it's a good omelette but she's trying to make she's trying to make a meal for her dad um, before he gets home or for when he gets home. Yeah, she thought about leek as well. That was her first go-to, but um, she doesn't have any. I also suggested like spring onions or something as a another alternative would also give that oniony flavor. But again, doesn't have it. Um, and it's too far for her to get to a grocery store because um, she's already had to walk there and back. So she's not doing the, the second trip. Um, the problem was that she was short by 45 cents to get the onion and she also didn't know that they were out at home. 
So, yeah, she's a bit stressed. A bit stressed about the uh, potential chance that um, it won't be good or that her dad won't like it. Um, honestly, I'm one of those people where unless an onion is really, really strong, like, say, a uh, spring onion or, like, a really, really fresh onion, I don't really notice the flavor in a lot of dishes. It could just be me. But, yeah, I just don't notice it. Something that kind of just glosses over and goes straight over my head. I was, I was going to make a joke about how that's not how you eat food. But, anyway, I'll just leave that one there and let it die. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. So, I still have some people over here. I'm going to move them. Because I did see them, like, sneaking up in here. And my problem is I've only got one mine area now. I'm going to grab you guys. I'm going to do the risky thing and spread out. Yeah, I know they are. Look, to help them, I'm going to need a lot of resources. Back off, mate. It's mine. All right. No! An expansion. Fuck you and your expansion, mate. Fuck you and your expansion. I'm taking this and that. And that. Oh, and uh, just in case, just in case you're confused, I'm also taking this. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm still building it. No worries, Mathless. The onion is usually used for flavor increaser, uh, like a stock cube. So, um, maybe instant flavor spice things. Why um, instead of onion? Yeah, I also suggested potentially if it was more about a flavor issue. Um, if it was an ingredient that you needed for flavor, there is the also option of keeping onion powder on hand. It's a little more expensive to get in the initial, but in the event you don't have onion in the future for any given reason, at least you've got that uh, as a backup in the cupboard. Because, like, uh, onion powder goes really good on so many things. Like, I'm not a huge onion person, but... Like, I don't mind onion or um, garlic powder. They don't upset my stomach as much as some other stuff does. Yeah, so you took this expansion. But these are mine, and I'm I'm going to be um, harvesting on these. So just so you know, I'm going to be in here. And just have fun with that. Um, but yeah, like granulated garlic sometimes can be better with stews than normal garlic. Yeah, sometimes dehydrated stuff can be so good, like dehydrated chili and stuff like that. Like I haven't got to use them yet, but I have eaten foods that have had those ingredients in them and they're so much better than using fresh stuff sometimes just because their flavor is so much deeper. The other thing too is also I've got to like mention this to wait for next time they like come through is um, also sometimes just like lightly um, roasting um, vegetables and stuff like that because I know that she's got tomato and onion and something else in the recipe and I'll tell you what a slightly uh, what do you call it like slightly charred not charred charred but you know a slightly uh, what do you call it um. No, it is charred, I think. Slightly charred fucking tomato and onion and stuff like that would add, like, a deeper flavor to it. It could be good. Are you mine? What the fuck you doing? I don't know. I'm not going to ask. Um, I am not keeping up with this. Yeah, you have to sweat them or roast them to increase flavor. Yeah, you know what I'm on about. I just don't know what the thing is. Look, mate, me and my minerals. Where are we under attack? There? Also, these giant bug things. Like, I thought that that was connected to that for a minute. I'm like, oh, that's new. Your allies are in battle. Let me get four more on there. My crystals are all pretty much gone. Get a couple of you guys on here. That'll be enough. Should have almost enough. Not quite. Yeah, this... I, I know you think this is your expansion, but this is mine, buddy. <laughs> that is mine. And so is this one. Um, you roast them and char them a bit, so you're on point. Yeah. Well, that's all I could think of to, all like, right. make it a bit Going deeper. On. Like, I think if they... If a wafer was to slightly, like, um, say, roast or char, like, the tomato or something like that, I think it could change the flavor maybe enough 
to compensate for the lack of onion. But it also depends. Like if a dad's like a super huge fan of onion, then there's nothing that's going to make up for it. That's, that's the only like logic I can think of because like I don't think much of it. Like sometimes I'll add it to recipes if it says it's got to be in it. And so if it says that it does need it or like, – yeah, so depending on if I want to add it to a recipe, I will, um, depending on how important it seems to be for, like, a flavor profile. If it's not, I won't add it because I'm just not really big fan of onion. Like how we've, like, spotted all the way through here. You are hanging out. Yeah, well, I'm about to get some pylons up in here. Like, literally so many pylons. Uh, who? Really? All right, fucking boogie on. Let's go. Let's get down there. Yeah, you guys go that way. They've already surrendered, so they've already like stopped. All right, Raiders. Time out. Wow, you want a time out, Shadow? All right, hold up. Um, there you go. Oh man. Our enemy is headquartered here. I'll, I'll see you in ten My minutes, Shadow. Will tear them apart. It's been a while since you've requested a timeout. Um, I'm a little surprised by that, honestly. Uh, I'm guessing you want to be able to concentrate on something without, like, constantly replying. Not that you can reply at the moment, anyway, so me asking you questions is probably more annoying than anything. <laughs> um, I'm getting some of their stuff, getting this. I do need to use these. Um, and what I do need to do... Since we're taking so many resources, we're pretty good with the four or so people we got here. But since we're going to be taking resources, since you guys literally took the main spot of my expansion here or wherever the fuck it is back up here somewhere there, um, I'm going to just do a solid and just take everybody else's shit. <laughs> this will be mine. And, oh, you can't. Fuck you. Yeah. God damn. I gotta be a little bit faster on them. Okay, so that was what are we up against. We had mine was hard and harder. I think I could probably take them as both of them being hard and then alright, I've got an idea. Oh, I wanted to look at the graph. Doesn't matter. It's gone. Let's see. Old estates. I don't know. This space, like, holy shit. Just the void of red around it. Like, I feel like they could have done a little bit closer picture than that and, like, make it look, like, really stunning. I don't tend to get too much out of playing on, like, the... Like, I like the color black, but I'm not a big fan of, like, red with black. Like, I get that it's a lot of, like, people's, like, favorite. But I, um... I, I don't know. I like, like, a bit of cooler colors with it. I think sometimes that looks nice, you know? Even greens and shit. I don't know. I just sometimes want to play on that. Um, want to get one where I, I'm going to go with this. This looks kind of cool. And then I might try one of the other styles, depending on how long it takes. I'll try one of the other ones. Because there's like Heart of the Swarm and Wings of Liberty and stuff. And I'm just on the Void ones at the moment. So I just thought I'd start with whatever was in here. Let's go in there. I know I've played on a couple of different ones. I think I played on Heart of the Swarm for, like, last time, I think. I also played on one specific, like, four-person map for ages, and it just kept playing out the same way all the time. But it looked so nice. It was all, like, purple and vibrant and shit, and it just looked amazing. Um, so what I'm thinking, and I don't know if it's a good idea or not, is if I can get you to take up to two at a time. I think three for me is too much. Okay. Let's add in the AI. I don't know if this is going to be good or not. I think hard is one thing, right? My people were hard and harder and they did all right. I think harder went off to attack. So if I left him as hard, then we had elite. So, but I think I had the ones that were together were like very hard or something like that. Let's say, 
Oh, I don't know. I'm very tempted to just change it up. Units and structures. Gains additional resources during late game. Assholes. As vision gains additional resources from the start. Oof. Alright. Um, let's say we have... Uh, shut up, stomach. My stomach is fucking crapping on. Um, I would like to have at least one cheetah three. Since this is going okay, I also want one cheetah three with not elite, maybe very hard. I don't want to make him like down at the slot, but fuck it, let's go elite and cheetah. I was going to have it like cheetah three was on their own, but the rest of this should be fine. As for my group, harder. So we've got harder versus elite and cheetah three, cheetah three solo. I'm going to say, let's make you a different color. Let's make you dark green. I do like putting like light gray with either the dark gray or pink. Let's go with pink this time. Let's say violet and I would like to bring the blue down here. Let's get you like light blue. I like this color, honestly. It's all right. Get you with like blue or something or if there's a different one. What do we got? Uh, Sure. Is there a different version? No, it just goes into normal ones. That's fine. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. All right. So, how to? This is going to be absolutely fucking mental. I I don't know what has been going on tonight, but I have been basically winning a lot of these games through the graces of my allies, and all as I can think is like, what the fuck? Like, I almost want to take this down one. To actually might. Let's make it really fucking hard. Let's bring you down here. Um, you can be just fodder. You can just be fodder for them. Um, one little harder one in there that they can have fun with. It's basically a null. There's a chance we might end up next to that and that. Or we might end up next to like these kind of things. Because these are all fours. So it's gonna be really hard. Really, really hard to do. Um this might be one where I actually lose. <laughs> Last time I played, I lost almost every single game. The time before that was a heavy mix of like win lose. Um, and this time it's been really heavy win. But this game, this one, I don't know about this one. This one looks like a complete loss or absolute struggle. All right. I'm going to do what I know that they do. So give me that. What are you doing, Phoenix? I see you. I see you looking at me. What are you doing? I'm, I'm killing. I'm killing AIs, Phoenix. What are you doing? Hmm? He's just like coming to like look at me dramatically. He wants to like sit up on my chest, but he can't do that. All right, let's make a couple of these. Get them boosted. Then we will get a building here because usually by the time the second one's out, we got that. I won't be able to build the second building until that's out. I don't know what we've got beside like us. Is this insane? Hold up. That would be we're up against two colonies. Yeah, I'm not going to survive this. Fucking Zerg. Mate. Oh, mate. That was my little peon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to die so fast. There ain't nothing I can fucking do to like fix this up. I'm going to go build another base. Um, I actually am taking them over to there. That's really bad. Tell you what, let me build a couple of things over here that, like, help me get going. Okay. Um, I should be fine with crystals and shit. I just don't have that much, like, stuff. A third pylon. You can come back. My whole base is basically gone. I have minerals for it, so no matter what happens. God, God. That was terrible. I was hoping I would at least be beside something okay. Um, let's see. Pink and purple. Horse. Of course I got fucking cheetah and that. Oh, man. I wonder if it matters, like, if I have to have, like, the single individual unit up near me at the top of the list. What are you doing floating near me, you cunt? Fuck off. 
Yeah. All right. Now I got stuff up here, and you are not mine. You're like some kind of imposter thing. So let me get one of these up here. Oh, fucking fancy ass fucking minerals you need. Terran building sided. I feel like yeah, they're gonna attack him. Get away from my person. Get away from me. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Come back down, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pop this down here. <laughs> Just got back. What did Shadow do, lol? He requested a timeout. That's what he did. So he's gone for like 10 minutes. He's probably got like eight minutes more to go, give or take. Yeah, no. <laughs> of course, Shadow didn't do anything wrong. There is literally a redeemable like timeout if you ever need to like concentrate or like have a reason not to respond for like 10 minutes to be able to focus on something. Um there's always that. Your allies are in battle. I always thought it was something very interesting because, like, it's it's actually been pretty interesting. So sometimes when you get somebody that's, like, a little bit trolly, um, they'll come in and they'll accidentally redeem it, not realizing what it does. Like, I think the thing maybe it's going to time me out, but it times them out. See, I built something. Now you want to kill me. Yes, anyway, it times them out, and then they can't talk or cheer or do anything for like 10 minutes because my my timeout's also very long but um yeah i have that and then they get salty about it usually but when it's somebody that's like just requested it and they know what it is and they're just having fun with it it's like it's kind of like saying lurk but like you're you're still here it's just that whatever you've got to do you can't um you can't respond for like 